cities. We talk about smart parking. We talk about um, advancements in communication between the city infrastructure and the management systems from between the city infrastructure and its actual users. Now, how that's implemented, um, we believe, or what we believe, can you all hear me okay? Is it loud enough? Or, uh, how we believe it can be implemented is by using small cells. Now, what a small cell is, is essentially it's a small micro version of a standard macro cell that the large mobile operators will have. So they will roll out large macro sites, as you can see up here, large macro sites which will cover blanket coverage of the city. But in order to get that capacity, in order to get that throughput that's needed at street level for all your IoT connections, for all your individual handsets and for all your individual users, you need to think outside the box. You need to stop thinking about the large macro blanket coverage and try and bring that capacity to the small user. And the only way to do that, we believe, is by the use of small cells. So what we talk about when we talk about small cells? Small, small cells, a couple of different types of small cells. You can have individual small cells that operate independently. You can have distributed antenna systems, which are a central RBS or central communication system to spaced out or varied antennas. Or what we believe is the answer again, is to have very small versions of your hilltop macro mobile site, but at street level, down at the lower level, to bring that capacity to the people. By the year 2050, 70% of the world's, the world's uh, people will actually live in the urban environment. We need this broadband, we need this wideband coverage, and small cells is the answer. But what's involved? What's involved in rolling out small cells? Everybody talks about the technical side, the technical solution of small cell. And I wouldn't worry about the technical side of it. There's plenty of people out there who are experts in LTE, who are experts in Wi-Fi. We have a, a, a whole solution department that will do that analysis for you. But with the technical side of it, the radio planners are interested in the radio side, the transmission planners are interested in the transmission side. What you need is, you need what we talk about here, we talk about a network vision. We need somebody who can bring the whole lot together, bring that communication together, bring your radio planning, your transmission planning, your power, your, all your information as regards building the actual cell in one package. And that's where you offer the turnkey packages of a small cell roller. The most important thing is, how will it be paid for? Everybody talks about smart parking, we talk about intelligent buildings, we talk about, but how is that going to, how is that going to actually be paid for? Who's going to pay for it? And the model we're working at in the UK is that there's an infrastructure owner who's actually the one paying for it. And they're the ones that are building host, neutral host sites that aren't specific to any particular operator. And every operator can come on board for a fee and offer their services over, essentially, a tunnel. So it's a tunnel that communicates the mobile operator with the end user. The actual cell, the end user doesn't care how that information gets to their phone. It's, a, it's, it's blind to them, they're not concerned about it. What you need is, you need someone with a network vision that's able to bring the radio side, the cell side, it's able to bring the power side, it's able to bring the infrastructure and the property management, and the power and, and, and the backhaul transmission all together to offer one final solution for the mobile operator. Customer applications. Everybody talks about smart bins, IoT, broadband, narrowband. The customer application won't necessarily pay for the end game, it won't pay for the, the role of the small cell. What will pay for is mobile operators that can offer packages to a neutral host. By putting in neutral host, you can bring in all the different mobile operators, you can bring in the, the narrowband IoT operators, the likes of Sigfox, and you can also offer on-street Wi-Fi, which is what we're seeing in Aberdeen. The Aberdeen City Council offers on-street free Wi-Fi, and that brings about, it's, it's an extra package that they can offer to tourists and bring in the smart city. So you need targeted extra bandwidth. People need that extra capacity in their handsets. People want it, they expect it. They're no longer willing to wait for signal anymore, they expect it. With a small cell, you can have what's known as a self-optimizing network, where a small cell can actually distribute capacity to different areas. So if there's a football match on, it can bring extra capacity to the stadium. If there's transport needs, it can bring capacity towards transport network infrastructure. That self-optimizing network is actually intelligent enough to redirect capacity where it needs to be, because it's no longer individual cells. It's now a small micro network, and it brings that hive mentality to the technology. And by the hive mentality, what we talk about is that the actual intelligence of the hive, the intelligence of the network, is more than the sum of the individual components. Multiple stakeholders. This is the important part. This is where we see 
but we're playing a massive role in the UK and in Ireland to a lesser extent. We're bringing all these stakeholders to the table. We're bringing the property owners, the equipment vendors, the mobile operators, and putting that communication in place. Because as long as you see a, a small cell network as being 10 individual macro cells, as long as the, the landlord is trying to build for individual macro cells, it will never work. They have to see it as one overall network and build their costing accordingly. It's the only way that the pricing model will work. So small cells can provide the solution, both from a mobile operation point of view, but also from IoT connectivity. When we talk about narrowband IoT, we talk about that 800 unlicensed spectrum. That can be, that, that, that can be integrated into a small cell along with LTE services, along with Wi-Fi services, and along with traditional 3G and GSM services, all on a small cell. Come in. Come on in. <laughs> can be integrated all into an entire small cell to bring a one end-to-end -end package for the end user. It allows IoT-enabled devices and IoT-enabled uh, handsets to be involved. So if, when we talk about IoT, we're talking about that 800 megahertz, that, that narrowband uh, SIG box type connection can be integrated into it. But it requires a specific in-depth knowledge. So you have to bring the radio planner, the transmission planner, the fiber planner, the power, and all this together into one package, and that's where force comes. So consultation engagement with multilateral buy-in. That's what we mean when we talk about <laughs> No questions, Jim. When we talk about multilateral buy-in, we're talking about all the interested parties have to see this as being a network, have to view this as the high mentality. They can't look at them as being 10, 20, or 40 individual sites. You have to look at the whole network as a whole. The sum of the intelligence of the network has to be more than the individual parts. That multilateral buy-in by all parties. As long as the landowner believes that they can get the same costing or the same price for rental of individual macro or micro sites as they can for the macro sites, it won't work. As long as the radio planner wants to insist on the antenna locations based on what the maximum antenna plan, with no regard for fiber or no regard for a power, it won't work. There has to be compromise from all, and that's the only way the small cell will actually work. So have you any questions on small cells? Or anybody want to know any information or very interactive audience, I must say. So when we talk about smart cities, we talk about connecting devices, so it's machine to machine connection and also machine to end user connection. In order to get that sort of capacity, you need small cell because the standard macro cell doesn't have the capacity to cover it and it doesn't have that tailored self-optimizing capacity that small cell can bring to your network. Anybody any questions? Surely Jim has a question at this stage. <laughs> Thank you very much.